give me apps, you're at more. The number one app store, give me apps.com. Download apps when you smartphone or tablet. If you're a developer, pay the developer fees. Keep up the same profits and look your earnings by PayPal whenever you want. No app store, let's do that. Today we're checking out Bilingweb. Learn languages by Bilingweb Languages for Android. This app allows you to learn a new language by way of reading two different texts, one in your native language and the language you're trying to learn. This app, in my opinion, is a great tool in your arsenal of language learning tools. I don't think that it would supersede something like uh, Duolingo or Rosetta Stone, but this app would work in conjunction with those type of apps. Guys, you can learn English, German, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Hindi, Russian, Turkish, Chinese, Arabic, and any more. You can read different kinds of text in a language that you are learning, and uh, it gives you the option of reading the exact same text in your language to use as a reference. You guys can listen to the audio of the text in any language. Even if the phone is sleeping, guys, simply put, you get to learn languages using a karaoke style type of viewer. I'll show you as we go along. Take a look, this is the main screen. We uninstalled the app and reinstalled it just to show you the screen. Sure, let's go. Welcome to the Beeling app. And listen to a story as you read. Take a look at some of that action over there. It's almost like you're um, checking out karaoke. Uh, the text highlights itself in orange. You get to listen to a story as you read. Uh, you get to read your text in two languages, that we, as we did mention. You can see here it's in Spanish and in English. We're going to move on. And, of course, have fun. Yes, show me. We're going to go straight on in. It's going to ask to use your, um, rather, access your photos, media, and files on your device. We'll click on Allow. We'll go straight on in. Now, take a look at those... Uh, um, options on the menu at the top of the screen that you have language level category. You can choose between uh, no filters, intermediate, advanced beginner. We'll choose beginner just for sake of the review. You also have your category to go to there science, technology, short stories and novels, culture, popular stories, children and travel. Why is this great? Well, a lot of the um, the apps on the market now, like Duolingo, they're great. Don't get me wrong, I've used them. Um, but they um, work with, like, immersion. Like, you kind of learn, like, you know, simple words, and then, you know, you go with um, your sentence structures, and uh, they get a little more complex. This one allows you to read text, and, of course, a lot of the text you will be familiar with. And, of course, you can choose the topic, the category, which is great. So, um, why not have a different type of tool? You can learn words using other apps, and uh, you can look at pictures. This one will allow you to read text. This is exactly how you learn in school, folks. So, we're going to choose, uh, let's go with children's stories, just because they're simple. We'll filter that. And take a look at all these. Take a look at all of these items that are here. Some of them do require, um, you know, um, you to pay. You see the ninety-nine cents up there at the top of the um, screen. You can choose your language. Let's go with uh, Spanish. Select up the two languages. We're going to choose Spanish just for this review. There it is. We'll filter that. And uh, you already saw this. You have your library there, my stories and more. Now take a look. The frog and the well, the mouse and the elephant, the princess and the sea, the three little pigs. Can't go wrong with three little pigs. We'll tap on that. Take a look here. You have to download. You see it says they're beginner, 14 paragraphs. The classic story of three little pigs. We're going to download this book. This will end up in my stories. Take a look at that. Language to improve Spanish. You can choose different languages. English, Spanish, German, Chinese, Portuguese, French, Russian, Turkish, Hindi, and Arabic. We did mention that earlier. We'll choose Spanish. And um, I do speak Spanish, by the way. And, of course, reference language Engli English. I almost said English there. Uh, set as default, so you can choose that to be your default, so whenever you download a book, it'll be in the language that you want to read it in. You see it's downloading, we are on a Wi-Fi connection, which is why I did it so quickly. And once it downloads, you can access the book. You have my stories over there, take a look at that, read! And you see that the languages are chosen there, E-N-E-S, standing for English and Espanol. So, let's go straight on in with the reading of the uh, text, take a look at that. Try it! Um, pause. The sentence playing will also be high, will always be highlighted. Click on it again to hear it. So let's go along with this. We uh, we have that. It says pause and take a look at that. Switch language button. Click on the switch. Click on switch text to change the text to the other language and back. You see that you have the um, English. Take a look at that. You have Spanish. We'll go back. There it is. Los tres cerditos. And of course you go to English and it says the three little pigs. All right. So you can switch the language button. This is like a tutorial. Play and pause, click on play to pause or play the audio and start the animation. Click on play to pause, a bit of a um, tongue tie, tongue twister there. Try it. Los tres cerditos. Nice. Okay, and you can pause if you want to do that. We can move on. Split view, click on split view to see both languages at the same time. You can try that, take a look at that. Boom, bang, you can see that there, look at that. And uh, it does come on the bottom there. You can't see that because this is blocking that. And, of course, happy learning. So, yes, show me. Click on more than one sentence. Click for more than one second on a sentence and see what happens. Yes, show me. There it is. Take a look at that. 
And you have the, uh, you can hear it right there also, right? So we're going to move on. Yes, show me. There it is. So take a look at that. Once upon a time, there was a mother of, there was a mother pig who had three little pigs. Había una vez una madre cerdita que tenía tres pequeños cerditos. So you have that there. Take a listen here. Una madre cerdita que tenía tres pequeños cerditos. Okay. Los tres cerditos crecieron tan grandes. And of course you can uh, switch it up there. Let's go to English. If you want to do that, we can go back to the beginning there. Now, now mind you, you have... Uh, Los tres cerditos crecieron tan grandes que su madre les dijo. Everything is there in the mix, guys. There it is, and uh, as we did mention, you have your split view. You can use it, just look at it in Spanish if you want to do that. Uh, you can uh, move over to English, take a look at this now. The three little pigs grew so big that their mother said to them, You are too big to live here any longer. Now let's go to Spanish, take a look at that. Here we go. Los tres cerditos crecieron tan grandes que su madre les dijo, Ya están demasiado grandes para seguir viviendo aquí. So this is very straightforward. We're showing you one story here. We don't want to give away. We're about six minutes into this review. Guys, this is a very powerful tool. Again, if you're trying to learn a language, um, you can use apps like Duolingo. They're completely free. And you can learn uh, you know, one word at a time, small sentences, and of course you build your vocabulary. It's a very powerful app. And um, this review is about this app, however, and this is another tool, uh, I would argue, um, just as powerful as the other apps in the market just because uh, you're reading actual text. And remember, when you were learning um, to read in kindergarten, first grade, all the way through grade school, uh, through high school, you had to read text. It wasn't just learning words. It wasn't just vocabulary. Uh, you had to put that in context, and this app does that. So, li listen, I talked about a couple of apps in this review, but this app... Uh, again, I stress, should be a tool in your arsenal to learn a new language. I'd love to see more languages released for this app. This app has, this app has a lot of potential. It's got a lot of downloads. Uh, I would highly recommend this app. And I have to tell you, we've reviewed, I can't tell you how many apps on this channel. Um, you know, we stand by all of our reviews and we tell it to you how it is. We give you straight talk. But this app, I highly recommend you checking out. We only show you one story. There are many stories that you can download. We'd love to see uh, more end up in this app. Uh, some of the apps, some of the um, stories, you have to watch a video. You know, you can't complain about that. You know, it's, you know, pay for some of the stories or watch a video, and the videos are not that long. And again, the in-app products are 99 cents per item. And I'm telling you, this app has a lot of potential. Do check it out. We're going on eight minutes, folks. This is Bilingwap Learn Languages by Bilingwap Languages. It's an educational app, learn languages, you can read text side by side, you can concentrate on one language, your native language, or uh, the language that you're trying to improve, and there are many languages that are available. Guys, check it out. You are checking out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash app, will give me apps, is the world's number one independent app store. Download any Android app, check out iPhone and Windows phone showcases, if you're a developer, check this out. You pay no developer fees, you get to keep up to 100% of your profits, and withdraw your earnings by PayPal whenever you want. No app store anywhere, let's do that. This is Bilinguap Learn Languages by Bilinguap Languages. This is for Android. We hope you enjoyed this review as much as we did, guys. Till next time.